Initially, The Sims franchise was commented on for its satirical view of American consumerism, which is ironic given what it's become today. But I really want to lean into that today, so screw any moral arguments with this. I'm jumping into The Sims 2. We're going to make a Sim that's obsessed with money. We're giving them the fortune aspiration. We're doing anything that they want until we can officially say that we're stinking rich. So let's jump into it. So this is Rich Cashmore. I'm going for like an 80s car salesman vibe here. So first, I'm going to furnish his house with just the basics. We don't have a lot of money, so we can't do much. Then we're going to get him a job. When I say the basics as well, I mean the absolute basics. This is not going to be a nice house to start. Okay, do you hate the layout of this as much as I do? Because <laughs> it's not the best I've ever done. And upstairs is literally just a bed. But I have remembered lights and a fire alarm, which I never remember. So I'm... I'm I'm impressed with myself. Now we'll just leave him to do whatever he needs to do. The newspaper is here, which is good. He wants a job in either business law or criminal. I do like the idea of being a criminal. This guy is really struggling with the newspaper here. Just put it down. <laughs> Anywhere is fine. If this doesn't work, we do get a free computer. So I'll have a look at that too. No, none of the above. And here we go. Come on. Everyone's really struggling with this doorway. Just drop the package. It's all good. Me, when someone says make a decision, get that computer on there and go find a job. There's nothing he wants. <laughs> and I'm not doing it unless he wants it. So we'll sort our needs. And at exactly midnight, I'm going to look for a job. Some visitors have arrived to welcome you to the neighborhood. I have to meet them because it's all about networking in this business. What business? I don't know. I don't have a job, but it's all about networking. But I've already got a friend. And it's Madam Wuho. Obviously, one of my characters. She runs a brothel. Shameless plug if you haven't watched that video. <laughs> it's in the description. Uh, excuse me. Put that down. I'm going to admire you into dropping that food. I'm admiring your gall. How you have the gumption to eat half of my fucking carrots. The audacity. So just leave it on the floor as well. I have a lot of spare rooms. And you've just found yourself in one. Let's clean that up. I'm going to serve food for everyone. I'm a good person. Other than the fact that I have just imprisoned a man. But other than that, I am a good person. I've burnt the food. <laughs> Let me answer this. Hey, I found some new places to hang out at downtown. Do you want to meet me there? I mean, I did say it's all about connections and the food I've made is pure shit. So yes, let's go get some food from downtown. They don't have a grill, but they do have meals. Can we all eat together? I'm sorry, but all of our tables are currently full or reserved by another group. <laughs> Feel free to come back later. What the fuck do you mean? You've seated him afterwards. Oh, you little prick. This was a waste of time, so I'm going to befriend... Carla McCullough, because she's fantastic at dealing. And if I can boost my, what's it called? Reputation, which is an average cabbage right now. I should be able to get a few perks that'll help me save some money in the future. Oh, hey, Rich, you seem like a pretty insightful person. I'm developing a new product and I'd be interested to hear your feedback on it. Here's a free sample for you to mess around with. Yes, plasma screen TV. I knew going on this trip was worth it. I am about to starve to death though, so I've got what I need from you, Carla. I'm, I'm off. I'll just have to eat the burnt mac and cheese instead. Everybody came home with me. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I guess I'm just entertaining everyone in town. They all ate my food before I had a chance to get to it. I just need to stay up until midnight and hopefully I can get a job. The only job he wants now is the criminal career because it reset his aspiration when we went out, but it's fine. I can last this long. Just going to grab an instant meal because I think it's the only thing I feel like no one's going to try and steal from me. Don't go to sleep. Not yet. There are so many people in this tiny house. Can you all please leave? Right. No, I can't do this. Everyone say goodbye to everyone. Please just get out my house. Thank you. God for that. Right, find a job. I'm not in the mood to do that. <laughs> Go for a nap and hopefully it won't reset your wants. Now, if I clean up this mess. My environment score should be high enough. Jason, I didn't invite you to spend the night. You're here to spend your life. There we go. He's in a decent enough mood. Find a job. Law. Damn it. That's what he wanted. Gamer. Gans. Slacker. Do you know what? There's some irony in this because I'm about to quit law, but you can take a job in it. I don't care. Do I have work in one minute? Fuck my life. All right. <laughs> This is a red flag for a toxic work environment. If they're hiring this quick, we are in trouble. But go to work. You can sleep at your desk. I'm sure everyone will love it. Make a great first impression. But at least we'll get some free food there. So it's okay. I highly doubt I'm getting a promotion today. But I did manage to earn some money and that was a want. So we're good. He wants me to buy a car. And to be honest, I can afford one. Let me just... Do I keep this plasma or do I sell it? How much can I get for that? Eight grand. Yep. Sold immediately. So sack that bed off, pal. You're getting a better one. Actually, you're getting the best one. Why waste time? I love how uncensored that is to the window, but I don't really know where else to put it. I mean, I could put it there, but it blocks that window. Whatever. It can go there for now. Go get some sleep. Oh, I can't really afford 
very good car. I'm going to have to go for the worst one. I can't turn up to my job in my pickup truck and I'm definitely not getting a minivan. I am not a parental person. There you go. They're going to love that in the office. Meanwhile, I think it's time I got a little study on the go. Again, we're still keeping it cheap. I'm not plowing through this money straight away because that is something I would do and <laughs> it never worked out for me. I can afford to throw in a few decorative things though at least. And I put the door back. I mean, he only stole a plate of food, so I'm, I'm not going to kill him for that. And there we go. We've got three grand left. The house is looking a lot better than it was. I say a lot better. It's a tiny bit better. Oh, my energy goes up so quickly now, apart from when he has panic attacks in the night. I feel you, pal. Go on then, Jason. Off you pop. Very nonchalant. Don't even call the police. <laughs> Everything's fine. I only got home from work for like four hours ago and I'm fully rested. I wish I had a bed like that. Just go clean up this man's piss and then we're going to work on our social for a bit. Chat with anyone. I hate that you can't tell what the sim actually looks like when you try to chat with them on this. Because I always worry that I'm going to be one of those weirdos chatting to a teenager online in the game. <laughs> Just want to clarify. Who am I talking to? We're good. It's an adult. And then study some cleaning skill because that's one of the skills you need for law. I can't remember what the rest are. I don't need any skills to get promoted anyway. So as long as I go in a good mood today, I should be closer to getting a promotion. Carpool car is exactly the same as my car, but whatever, I'll get in the carpool car instead. And we'll see if we get a promotion today. But a normal career isn't the way to a lot of wealth. So I am going to do something else soon. But I've just noticed this once. He wants me to buy a birdcage and I'm going to do that for him. Just stick it there because I don't really know what to do with this room. Anything else? Oh, it recycled everything. He wants to get a promotion. Lock that in. Buy a makeover station. Sure. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little side hustle, I guess. But I'm just going to stick it outside there. He wants to get a bronze cosmetology badge. Great. <laughs> I guess this is what we're doing now. Buy a painting, buy a living chair. We can do both of those things, but they are going to be cheap. I hope you know that. Just stick it there. Fuck it. And let's get a little painting for the kitchen because it's very depressing in there. Did it say what value it had to be? Because I could literally just put this Santa decoration up. Ah! <laughs> so turns out money can't buy taste. We're back. A promotion? I doubt it, but please. No, that's all right. I don't think I need this job anywhere. Start home business. I guess I am a cosmetologist now. <laughs> uh, set the price. 60 simoleons, just for now. Let's see how that goes. Now, offer makeover to Curtis. I'm assuming that's you. Did he say no? He said yes. Oh, do I have to be the stylist and then he'll come over? Oh, wait, here we go. Sales, basic sell. I am pretty tired, so I don't know if this is going to go well. No. Great. How am I meant to get my bronze cosmetology badge if nobody buys a makeover? Jessica, you can have a free makeover. Honestly, I cannot see this going wrong, so don't worry at all. Do I not get to choose what they look like? Or is this because it is actually going wrong? <laughs> I honestly think you look fantastic, Jessica. And there's a very high chance that you're overreacting. I haven't put the open and close sign in. So the business is technically open 24-7. And I want to capitalize on that. So let's get this in. It costs 499 simoleons, but should start earning me some money. Let's start charging customers and set the price. Nine simoleons. Ten is expensive. Does it get more expensive when there's more stuff on my lot? Let's go with cheap for now. Eight simoleons. Come on. You want a makeover. <laughs> you know it. Let me try a little basic sell on you. Ignore the fact of my million underpants. You're still saying no. Okay, I think I've just turned you away from it when you were very close to saying yes. Best salesman ever. Oh, I got my first Somalian, so she, she's paid to be here and I don't know why. I'll serve a bowl of cereal for everyone. Oh, someone else bought a ticket. Hey, I tried to kill your brother not too long ago. <laughs> So yeah, I have no idea what this business is. It's essentially a motel with an option for a makeover that no one ever takes. Also, it's not a motel, no one sleeps. The carpool for work comes in an hour. Do I still earn money from sims that are here when I'm away? Because that would make things a lot easier for me. I am earning money still, not a lot. Oh, but they pay hourly as well. So yeah, I don't even have to do anything. I'm just making passive income. This is the secret, all right? I will be selling a course on this pretty soon. Invite strangers into your house and charge them per hour. It's a great business model and it's completely safe. Come on, give me a promotion today. Yes, law firm receptionist. I sent me a decent bit of money. I want to gain a logic point. Is that what I need for work? Yeah, how can I do that? If I buy a telescope, hopefully that's enough to... Uh, excuse me, this <laughs> is a family-friendly channel. Get out of here. But yeah, hopefully improving the lot price improves the ticket price. I am going to hire a maid because I'm basically earning that from everyone who keeps coming here. And I don't want to deal with it. So I'm just going to go to sleep, leave them to keep paying me. <laughs> I don't know why they're paying me, but <laughs> whatever. So I can get my needs sorted and then... I'm going to look through the telescope. Someone broke my toilet grip. Do you know what? I'm not going to fix that. I'm just going to replace it with a better toilet. It's not laziness. It's me getting rich. Slowly but surely. Oh, and I've just got 500 simoleons for finding a star. I've been stargazing for about two seconds. I've got my logic skill point. Now I want to earn 2,000. Lock that in. Buy painting. Do you know what? I'm going to make this even easy for myself. Eventually, this kitchen is going to be fully Santa themed. <laughs> 
But that's an easy win. I'm taking that. Get me a cheeky little money tree in there. Do you know what? I'll have two. Let me harvest those simoleons before someone else does because I know that I know that NPCs just randomly go for it. No! 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 <laughs> Oh, you bastards, the Perrier. Oh, hang on. You're rich. <laughs> yeah, we're into it. He can't be that into it. He left. Jason, I'm very surprised you came back, considering you were locked in here for about 20 hours not too long ago. Oh, I've got work soon. Right. Adriana, go. Literally, go. I need to use that. No one will talk to me in person. I'm going to do it online. Chat with Ricky, the only person online. Ricky signed off. Brilliant. <laughs> Can this just be easier, please? Let me harvest these simoleons. I am all over the place right now. And then I need to socialize. I didn't manage to improve my social much, but I did improve it a bit. So let's head to work. Oh, my bills. I forgot. I've been so busy making money, I forgot to spend it. Oh, I earned 2,000 simoleons just from people buying things from me, which is... Pretty good. Buy a bookcase costing at least 650 simoleons. I guess I'll replace this one that you've used once then. This one costs 650. I'm not spending a penny more than I have to. And there we are, Platinum Aspiration. I don't know if that means I'll get a promotion easier, but <laughs> hopefully. Buy a living chair costing at least 600 simoleons. I mean, one, you can't afford that. Two, I just bought you one. Like, yeah, it was shit, but still bought you one. I need to make a new friend for work. And I'm assuming that's the only reason he has the want to make a friend. But it's really hard because he's not nice all playful. Nobody likes him. <laughs> okay, you, old man, be my friend. I know calling you old man is not the way to go, but I'm desperate. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk to me. <laughs> Back to talking to people online, because it's the only way people actually like me enough. Your business is now rank one, and you've gained a point to spend on business perks, and I'm spending it. Mm, I was going to spend it on money, but I'm going to spend it on connections instead. So with notable reputation, it says that people are getting to know who you are, and they like what they hear. You'll now enjoy a starting boost to all of your new relationships. And I think that's probably the best way for me to earn more money in the long run from work, <laughs> not from the business. Oh, it's Saturday as well. So I don't have work for the next two days. So I'm going to focus on making a friend, which is very sad when I say it out loud. But Carla, oh, hang on, it's two in the morning. I can't call you and invite you around. I will do later. Does anybody want a makeover while I'm here? Because I started it as a business and didn't ever do it. I'm lowering the price, custom price to 20. Then offer makeover to Jill. Did you say no? Jill, it's cheap as fuck, you stingy prick. Off a makeover to Destry. You need it, pal. You are not looking fashionable at all. Oh, he said yes. All right, cool. Then set price. I'm only going to do this once because I know this works. Be the stylist. Haha, <laughs> I've scammed you. It's actually let me change his appearance now because this one worked. So keep your hair blonde, all right? We're just going to style it. We're going to force it to grow out. There you go. Honestly, people are going to give you weird looks in the street. But I promise you, you are going to look so good when I finished. Everyone will be wanting to wear what you're wearing. And neon green lips are very in. And since you're paying me a grand, I'll make you a clown. Because that is literally what you are. Eyebrows are out. Big Santa beards. You guessed it. They're in. Oh, I can already see through that cloud that you look fantastic. What do you think? Oh, the massive He loves it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I said I was going to do it once. Let me just give myself five grand. Oh, no. That scared him away. Okay. I mean, fair play. <laughs> I understand. Oh, shit. Hang on. My bills. I did forget. They better be cheap. 56, 74. Are, uh, it's all right. If I add more activities, will this... Will people actually pay more to be here? Let's consider it an investment in our future. But if I put in, like, a swing set over here... Hmm. It's kind of all I can afford. Anyone for a massage? If I put it on the pavement, you can't say no. No, you physically can't not see it. I'll go for a quick sleep and then I'm giving someone a massage, whether they want it or not. I'm going to set this quite cheap just to see. Oh, it's a custom price again. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's the going rate. Oh, I don't have to do a custom price. Let's do a cheap one. Be masseuse. I'll just wait. Anybody want a massage? Curbside massage parlor open for business. No? Okay, what's your name? Meadow. Right, the minute she's paid, which is now, sell Swedish massage to Meadow. Yeah, she wants it. She's not even slightly freaked out by the fact that I've offered it. Up you get. Oh, there's so, there's going to be so much word of mouth business coming from all these passers-by. Now, this is the first massage I've ever done. So if it hurts, I'm sorry. But I still will take full price, thank you. So I started at seven. Oh, it only takes an hour. I don't know if she paid me, but <laughs> it's still cheap. Sell Swedish massage to Stephen. He's just a passerby, so he hasn't paid to be here. But come and hop up on the table. Oh, the pay at the start. Oh, I'm going to make so much money from just massaging everyone. Just touching strangers in the street is going to get me so rich. Business is rank two. Do I go for a better reputation or do I just take the cash. I'll take cash for now. It's an investment because I'm gonna put in more stuff for people to use. There we go. This is basically just becoming an adult playground, which sounds dirty, but it's not. I do touch people a lot, but it's not. Oh, she's complimented me on my fantastic 
massage skills. Hello there, Rich. You have a lot in common with my friend Abby Darger. Mind if I give Abby a number? I think you two would get along as well as you and I do. Yes, the networking is real. I was kind of joking around about that at the start, but it is working quite well. Ah, look at that. So now because I've got all this stuff in, it's ridiculously cheap for people to come in. 17 is average. 16 is cheap. So I'll keep it at 16, but... This should mean a lot more money. I'm going to basic sell. Never mind, she's already bought it. It's too good a deal to miss. I don't have the time to sell to people. They're, they're just swooping in and buying those tickets straight away. I'm going to sell the makeup chair because it's not actually earning me much money. And people keep trying to buy from it, even though there's no one there to deal with it. I am going to change the weather because it's autumn now and I want it to be summer so that everyone can play outside. There we go. See if these leaves come back on this tree. They did. Instantly. <laughs> Great. Um, madame, did you not hear that it's summer? You don't have to wear that big fur coat anymore. Oh, I became best friends with her by trying to sell her stuff. Okay, I do need to make another friend, though, so that I can get promotion at work. Who am I closest with? Destry. I don't know how we're friends after I destroyed his face that time, but destroying his face also sounded quite dirty, to be fair. No, Destry, I invited you around. You don't have to pay. Although I am obsessed with money, actually, so yes, do pay. Good. He's paying me to be here, so let's... Hang out. <laughs> okay, I've got a friend and I've got the skills I need. So tomorrow I should get promotion as long as I remember to look after my needs, which is easy said than done. I am very easily distracted by everything that goes on around me. And it is very busy here. Do you know what I am going to do? I'm going to study mechanical. I'm going to fix my own TV soon. I don't want to pay for a handyman. One of the secrets to being rich is never paying for things you don't have to. Okay, I made sure to give him a shower before he touched the electronics just so his hands are wet. Now let's repair the TV. I don't think you're doing it right, if I'm going to be brutally honest. Is this going to work? Have I fixed it? By smacking it with a screwdriver? Okay, fixed it. <laughs> now everyone can enjoy TV. I won't enjoy it because it is loud. Wake up. I think I saw Malcolm. Yes, come and hang out with me. Even if I don't try to marry him and kill him, it'd be good to have an extra friend for promotions in the future. Also, my social need is always really low because I've put myself as very outgoing, which was a mistake, I'm not going to lie. Why is it snowing? I've made it summer. I <laughs> don't understand. I even prolonged summer. Time for work. I've got all the skills I need. I've got all the friends I need. And that was a nice boost to the performance bar then. So I should get a promotion today. Oh, I am making so much money from not doing anything. Fixing the TV definitely helps though, because people hang around for a lot longer. I'm home. And I've been promoted. Apparently it's only been a so-so week, but I'm making a lot of money here, so I wouldn't worry too much. Now I need charisma skill. Oh, but I can afford a sauna. Delete this tree, because I'm tearing down nature for capitalism's sake here. I said that really weirdly. Capitalism. There's the sauna. It's saying I have minus 339 simoleons because I can't buy anything. Oh, uh, because of the walls and stuff. The sauna's going to have to wait. I'll put this thing there instead. That's just as good. Oh, I can afford a basketball court. I'll put it here next to my car so that if anyone misses, it just ruins my car. And I've still got a thousand simoleons left. Also, I don't know what to do with this birdcage because I don't want to stock it, but I probably should, but I will let it die. Not on purpose or anything. It's just, I know me as a person. Let's go get our charisma skill. If I can keep on top of my needs the way that I am, I should be able to get promotion every day. There we go. Charisma 4. I'll see if I can change the price now that I've added some more stuff in here. It's gone up by three simoleons on cheap. I could put it to average, but it's probably not worth it. What do you think you're doing? I see you sneaking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess he just didn't want anyone to see him hanging out at the adult park because he's embarrassed by it, but he shouldn't be. Okay, well, no one's playing with me anymore. I'm going to work. Oh, we didn't get as big a performance jump as I thought I would this time. But that's all right. We've still got loads of people looking to buy a ticket to my house, <laughs> which I'm still weirded out by. I love that Sims are coming to this place, even though there's no real reason for it. My business is rank three. I want to earn 7,000 simoleons. I'm locking that in and then I'm immediately getting this. That didn't do it. <laughs> okay. I've nearly got four and a half thousand simoleons. Oh, I did it. I earned the money I needed. Time to improve the car, apparently. Buy a car costing at least 2,200 simoleons. Okay, this doesn't actually help me improve the business, but I guess it's all about image. Oh, the only way I can get is the fucking pickup truck. Whatever, I'm going for it. Yeah, I've got the one with the flame decal on the hood because nothing screams rich like neon blue flames on a truck. What else do I want? Buy a painting. Well, we already know how this one goes. More Santa, more aspiration. Oh, it's cottoned on now. Buy a painting, costing at least 500 simoleons. Right, I'll do that. Which one is exactly 500 simoleons? I can't really put it anywhere except this empty bathroom. But it's in there at least. Lock in that promotion just in case we're about to get promoted. Yes! I want to make a friend, which obviously means I need a friend for this career. It's so hard. And why do I need so many friends for this career? Who is my fourth most friendly person. Carla. Oh, I didn't realise how tired I was. Right, Carla, we're going to have to do this fast, all right? And then, yeah, once you've paid for your ticket, let's play a kicky bag. He won't stay awake. Hold on. Coffee machine at the front door because it's for customers as well. This isn't waking him up. It's just making him really twitchy. Look at him. 
I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack doing this. I spent so long drinking coffee that Carla left, so I might as well just go up to bed. I'll give her a call first thing in the morning before the carpool arrives. Bearing in mind the carpool arrives at seven, so I'll have to call her. Oh, I can drive to work afterwards, I guess. Don't matter if I'm a bit late, surely. I'm making so much money just while I sleep. Now just sit in silence while we work for 7 a.m. because I broke my TV so I can't watch it again. <laughs> Please don't hang up on me quickly. Oh, we actually might be about to manage this. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Call her again. Oh, she's not home. Fuck. All right. Go to work. No promotion today, but we expected it. I'll quickly make Carla my friend, and then I'll add something else here. I don't know what. I'm just adding random shit and seeing if, uh, if it makes me money. Okay, I'm friends with her. I'm going to replace this TV. One, because I can't be asked to fix it. And two, I feel like this will increase how much we earn. What else can I buy? It needs to be something adults can actually use. Ah, here we go. I'm ruining this house, but we'll just stick it there. So there's more chance of people accidentally smashing things into the car. Now, what is the price I can charge? 26. Oh, my business turned to rank four while I was asleep there. So another bit of money. I've got just over 1,000 simoleons now. And this gives me another 10. Finally, that sauna's going in right next to the bowling alley. Perfect. Love this house. Just need to add a roof. Let's go with a Japanese inspired roof. Oh my Christ, what have I done? <laughs> I did not think it would look that bad. And that almost makes it perfect. Let's make the angle really steep. Oh, it's beautiful. You are going to have to crouch when you want to go in it, but it'll still look good. Let's make it match the outside. I'll do the same inside because why not? And there we go. So once I wake up, I'm going to check what the price is again, but that should boost it up a lot. It boosted it by two simoleons. I'm even going to pay my bills before I have to. I'm so on top of things. It's unreal. I'm definitely getting a promotion today, surely. I'm not even reading this. Pause it if you want to. I'm just going to sue for more. I don't know what I'm doing. I got promoted. <laughs> Brilliant. And I need another friend. Fuck me. Malcolm, come here. I'm just going to kiss you. I'm not even going to give you any hint that I'm doing it. I'm just going to give you a little smackaroo on the lips like good pals do. And then I'll suck your face. Just laying the foundations down. I might use him for his money soon. But in the meantime, I need one more point of cleaning skill, which is the most boring skill in the Sims games. I despise giving Sims cleaning skill. I don't know why. And then can I get another friend in this time? Who's on the lot? Actually, this guy, Peter Sims. Can my friend come over too? Uh, always. Yeah. Yes, this is an open house. As you can tell by the fact that every fucker is in here. I got more bills. Ugh, I know I said I was for capitalism in this playthrough, but I'm not anymore. The minute I'm billed, nah. Okay, Peter, be my friend, please. Oh, yes, done it. That's enough out of you, Peter. Off you go. Please buy a ticket when I've gone. I'm going to get myself feeling refreshed, ready for work tomorrow. I am in quite a lot without doing anything, which is nice. So I've got three and a half thousand simoleons. What can I put inside the house to make people spend more? Wait, screw inside the house. <laughs> this is going into. Now I've only got 54 simoleons. That's all right. It's all coming back to me. By the time I wake up, I'll probably have a lot more than that. Never mind. I'll have way more than that because my business is rank five. I'm taking the money. That was 20,000 simoleons. <laughs> I'm sending this weird bathroom into a gym but it's a non-usable gym because no one can actually get to anything in it but it should still give me the value and i don't care anymore call me a money grabber all you want and it's true i am little piano in this corner drum set people can play this game and i'll throw a bar in too i've still got loads of money and a bubble blower and a photo booth for everyone who wants to remember the time here or wants to bang in public. Let's set the price again, see what this gets me. 47 is cheap now, apparently. And I'll serve everyone a meal again. I'm just, I'm a nice guy, okay? You can all hang out here. You can eat spaghetti here. It's the perfect place. I've kind of ruined this neighborhood because no one is spending any time at home. They're all at this weird adult park. Time for work. I better get a promotion today. I fully deserve it. I'm running a business and I'm killing it at my job. I'm making so much money, but I might have to make this gym actually accessible because everyone's pissing me off. <laughs> so many people here just trying to get on the equipment promote me yes <laughs> i need two more friends to get a promotion i'm not doing that thank you malcolm where are you time to steal your wealth okay you can't see it because my head is blocking it but we are on a date you'll just have to trust that i'm reading out what his wants are because you can only see the top he wants to talk to me and he wants to slow dance with me. I'll gossip because it's quick. Now he wants to get a picture taken with me. Get in here, Malcolm. Honestly, I would have done this with any rich sim, not just Malcolm, but he's the only one I know is definitely rich. So <laughs> that's how it is. I've asked him to join, but I think he's gone bowling. No, he's just gone. Oh, wait, is he in there with me? Am I just not? We'll find out. Take a goofy picture and we'll see if he is in there. No, no, I've just taken pictures alone. That's really sad. Malcolm, where the fuck have you gone? Are oh, you trying to buy a ticket? <laughs> come over here before the date goes to shit. I need to marry you ASAP. Okay, Malcolm, come outside. Because I'm getting pretty tired, apparently. <laughs> we don't have much time. Propose engagement. You don't need to see this. He's happy with it. Now, all of my customers get to watch me get married. It's a cheap and tacky wedding, okay? I'm just going to stick the wedding cake on a plastic table outside. Now, marry me. 
and everyone come and watch. If you've bought a ticket, that is, all right? <laughs> Don't you become running in here if you haven't bought one. That girl at the back is not officiating the wedding, by the way. She just looks very lost. There she is. <laughs> She's having a great time. Malcolm just joined the family with 28,000 smileys. Malcolm, that's fuck all. You deserve what's coming. He's such a randy bastard. He wants to woohoo with Rich. Have very first woohoo with Rich and woohoo with Rich in a car. You want your first time to be in a car. I'm not going to stop you. Go for it. Consummate the marriage in a very public place. I'm moving the gym stuff outside because everyone's annoying me. They're all just desperate to go on it and I just can't anymore. The reason I need this room is because it's now Malcolm's room. There you go, Malcolm. You've got everything you need in there. I don't want to kill you because that's cruel, but I never want to see you again. If I just throw in a bunch of huge, massively over-the-top statues, that should be enough to get me loads of money, right? Is that how it works? Just stick that right there. It's fine. There's no reason for it, but I'll put that there. So how much do I charge now? I barely did anything, but I'm going to say it's average. 50 four simoleons per ticket. Will she still buy it? Yeah, of course she will. She's desperate to be there. So it's 9am now. I've got 624 simoleons. I'm just going to leave it for 24 hours and see how much we end up with. There you go. It's nine o'clock next morning. I've made about six grand overnight. <laughs> People just won't leave because there's so much for him to do here. And I gave him to business rank. So I'll get the last cash prize. So I've got 56 grand. There's the house looking absolutely trashed. The place just looks so tacky and awful now. And I might kind of ruin the neighborhood in the meantime. But I think we can safely say that I'm pretty rich. So I didn't actually intend for that to become an open for business playthrough, but we did make a lot of money and that was the aim. So I'm pretty happy with that. So thanks for joining me for another one. I really hope you enjoyed it. There's loads more like this to watch on the channel if you do want to go back and watch them. If you don't subscribe already, please do. It does really help and I will catch you in the next one. So I'll see you then.